What are five documents I think everyone needs to have to prepare for the inevitable? That's what we're talking about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes that are in trust, in probate, when seniors need to downsize, and about 25% of my business is working with regular buyers and sellers. So today I'm gonna to talk about something a lot of people really hate talking about, preparing for the end. People, it's the one thing in life that we're guaranteed. We are going to die. I know some people that have avoid taxes, so we can't even say taxes are guaranteed. So why not be prepared? I, I mean, honestly, I think when you're prepared, it makes you want to live more. So I don't know why I've always had this weird thing about being prepared, because I know I'm going to die and I'm okay with that because I live every day. But what are these five documents? Well, four are real legal documents. I'm going to start with those. First one is a will. A will is basically just a legal document stating what the people you're leaving behind are going to inherit. Easy. Let's get that one. Two, a power of attorney. So if there need to be any financial decisions, legal decisions, you need to know who's gonna be in charge if something happens to you. Three, your medical healthcare directive. You guys, this is huge. There could be a time when you get hit by a car and you're not responsive and there need to be some real serious medical decisions to, that need to be made. What kind of decisions you want them to make on your behalf? That's important. And the last one is a living trust. I'm a big, huge fan of living trust. This is just a way to keep the government out of your business if something happens to you. It takes care of your all your financial things, your houses, your cars, your bank accounts, your stocks, your all of that stuff. It's all housed in one place. So the transfer of all the ownership of those items, everything you listed in your will, can easily be transferred to the people that are left behind. So those four documents, they can cost, if you go to a traditional attorney and you want to make sure it's really done correctly, thoroughly, and you're looking at probably around three to five, seven thousand dollars. It can be a lot more if you have a complicated estate. Or I have some resources that it's more like five hundred dollars to have those things done and you're talking to a legal representative or you can even find some places online to do it for free. Get on it though, people. Just be prepared. Don't leave your heirs hanging and not knowing what you want. And worse off, having the government involved to determine who gets what in your estate. So my final document is just one I've created. Just a Word document that I give to my kids and my husband every year. Once a year, I update it. It has all of my passwords to bank accounts online, to any insurance people online. It has my bank accounts in one place, it has my attorney's information, has my doctor's information, it has car insurance information, basically everything that someone would need to know about if I did pass away. And I shouldn't say if, when. When I pass away. So they can access everything. They can get on my computer, they know where documents are, they know where the lawyer is, oh my gosh, the phone number's right here. I even have things like what kind of funeral arrangements I want. Do I want a big funeral? Do I want to be cremated, buried? What songs I want at my funeral? My kids know there are three songs that they have to play. Do you want flowers? Is there a charity you want people to donate to instead of flowers? And you know what? Don't be depressed by this. Don't be sad. Rejoice that you're still alive, but be organized and be on top of it. So if you want any referrals to local attorneys or the company I know that will do it for a flat fee for $500, please reach out. And if you want a copy of my little Word document that has everything anyone needs to know, something happens to you, go to my website under the resources tab. You'll see it right there. So I hope that helps. I'm not here to depress you. Just be prepared and have all your business in order. You'll sleep better at night too. If you liked anything I had to offer today, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a great one.